Jack Reeve talked Norwich City outside of Carrow Road after Norwich City have just drawn 2-2 with Wigan. Not here, but the DW. We watched it on the beanbag today down at Carrow Road. It was really good, actually. Really nice atmosphere in there. Five quid. You can't really moan. And I'm kind of glad I didn't make that trip up to Wigan now after a fairly disappointing draw. The first half was brilliant. We were pushing them back. Wigan looked all over the place, really. And we got that really nice goal just before half-time. Nelson Oliveira bringing or getting back into the team and getting that goal much deserved he was working really hard that first half and got the goal was it a header was it off his shoulder I'm not really too sure but at the end of the day it went in 1-0 to Norwich you go in at half time you're feeling confident Wigan didn't really pose much of a threat at all um, and the only real downfall I would, say I would have is that we didn't really create that many chances and, and Wigan probably created the best chance of the first half except for that Oliveira goal Omar Bogle going through and probably should have scored but John Ruddy pulled off a fantastic save come out in the second half Wigan looked a completely different side they brought on Will Grigg to go two up top alongside Omar Bogle and you start to think well surely that gives Norwich more of a chance of an attacking threat now less defensive players on the pitch for Wigan but it didn't turn out to be that way Bogle free header uh, from a corner once again not us not being able to defend set piece Pieces. That isn't new news, that's for sure. And then a bit later on, Bogle hits a free kick. I was watching it on the beanbag and I genuinely thought that the referee had pulled it back or something and, and it, maybe the wall had moved. It just looked like Ruddy had let it in. He didn't move at all. Um, and it was 2-1 to Wigan, completely turned the game on his head. Should Ruddy have done better? I want to have another look at that. I think he, he probably could have done. Looked a bit flat-footed, pretty much straight at him and it hit the back of the net. It was good to see Mitchell Dykes get us back in the game. He was fantastic once again. Uh, six foot four left back, bombing down the bombing down the left flank. Uh, lots of people on Radio Norfolk saying that he looks like kind of a Bradley Johnson type player, the kind of player who'd get up for a, uh, get up for a fight, you know, who's in people's faces. He was bombing down that left-hand side and it was a, a bullet header to get us back in it. Then you're just looking for that bit of quality from somewhere, really. It was a very scrappy game, a very muddy pitch. It was evident that we'd uh, just played sort of two games in four days the, the legs were getting very tired Malumbu was just all over the place it was a good thing that he was all over the place but his legs were just dead by the end of it and that bit of quality we were just lacking Oliveira had a couple of decent chances late on but couldn't finish them his legs had turned to jelly as well and it was very evident that he hadn't played much football in the past month so 2-2 two, two. is it a point picked up or, or two points dropped for me is two points dropped Wigan looked very poor defensively they were fairly stable but they weren't really much going forwards and it was our defensive mistakes that kind of let them back into the game missed out on going back into the playoffs and if Sheffield Wednesday win their game on Saturday and we win their game and they're back to sort of take the, uh, the, the gap back to five points a bit disappointing but I suppose it's positive that we did get back into that game this Norwich City side two three months ago maybe wouldn't have got back into it final score Wigan Athletic 2 Norwich City 2 let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below Once upon a time, a fairy tale.